Good evening, everybody. So it is Sunday and I am back. I'm feeling better. So that feels pretty good. It was a rough week, <laughs> but that's the way it goes. Everything's going around right now. It's winter time and all the germs are out. So hopefully you haven't caught one. And if you have, hopefully you're feeling better already. Don't worry, there's a few other things going around. I'm sure you'll catch something else. I will too. The winter's not over yet. You know how it goes. All right. Keep your immune systems up. Drink your vitamin C. That's the way I like to do it. I like to drink my vitamin C. I love orange juice. I craved it when I was pregnant. And then, of course, it gives you heartburn. So uh, that was a little fun. But I used to crave orange juice and bacon. Orange juice and bacon. Together. Together. Not, you know, in a drink together. But it just in the same meal. I wanted the, the salty and the, the sweet tart of the orange juice. So that's one of my little things that I craved when I was pregnant. What are some things that you craved? With my first um, son, Brandon, my oldest, it was Taco Bell nachos. Of course, I didn't do so well at keeping them down. Mashed potatoes and gravy went a little bit better. Hi, Juanita. Everybody say hi as you come in. Make sure you say hi. Um, with my third child, it was Junior Bacon Cheeseburgers from Wendy's because bacon, you know, uh, it was salty enough that I could actually keep that down. And it was one of the only things I could keep down. So I craved that. With my second one, it was the orange juice and the bacon. Um, and I don't really remember any with Caitlin. Probably all of the above. Because <laughs> by the time I got to her, I wanted everything. You have no sound, Ruth. Juanita, do you have sound? Let me see. I'm not muted. Okay. So Juanita has sound. Ruth, let me just type her a message real quick. Okay. And while I'm here, let me grab that link for the ladies on Facebook so that they can find it a little bit easier. But yes, I am back. Not, I didn't get a vacation. I just got to lay in bed for a few days and feel lousy. I'm not sure that's much of a vacation. Let's see. There's one. You ate at Taco Bell too? You know, the funny thing is, oh, Juanita, when I first went into labor with Brandon, I went to the hospital and I was only three centimeters and it's my first baby, right? So they told, told me, oh, it's going to be hours. It might even be tomorrow. We're going to send you home. So we left the hospital. I had my husband go to Taco Bell and buy me some Nacho Supreme, uh, Nachos Bel Grande, the big one, you know, and I ate the nachos and I turned right around and went back to the hospital and delivered a baby. <laughs> so they didn't know what they were talking about. Mine went fast, but uh, maybe it was the Taco Bell nachos that did it. Who knows? <laughs> Hi, mom. So <laughs> we're talking about pregnancy cravings, mom. So, yeah, we all have them. So Ruth still can't hear me. There's nothing I can do about it because everybody else can. So <laughs> it's on her end. It's probably internet, but that's life. Ice only with a second child. Oh, I forgot about the ice. Yeah, Pizza Hut had that awesome crushed ice. And I used to make him go out and get me Pizza Hut drinks so that I could have the crushed ice and the breadsticks. Toward the end, it was the breadsticks. I wanted that, the garlicky, buttery, the breadsticks from Pizza Hut. I remember being at the convention and ordering breadsticks. Yeah, I hear that ice can be from Iron Shortage too, but I really only wanted that certain type of ice because I like to crunch it. I like to eat it more than anything, but I didn't want any other kind of ice. I was very picky about my ice. I'm still really picky about my eyes. 
Anyway, tonight is a few of my favorite things. So I went through the jewelry and I pulled out some things. Not all of these I have in my personal collection because like everybody else, I can't have everything. I just can't because uh, <laughs> there's too much of it. But some of these I have in my collection, some of them I would love to have in my collection if I had a huge wardrobe, like some of the, uh, you know, these rich and famous people do. It's like a whole room that is your wardrobe. Some of their wardrobes are bigger than my house. If I had that, I would absolutely have all these things. But they're my favorite things regardless. And I ordered them because they were some of my favorite things. I thought they were really nice. And so I ordered them to pass on to you. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Number one has to be blue because I love blue. I love every color of blue. And there's a thing about blue, no matter what your complexion or coloring is, you can almost always find a flattering shade. You can pretty much find a flattering shade of blue. So this one is kind of a light slate blue. It might look a little bit lighter on your screen and that's just due to this black background. So it's about a shade darker than what you see. It's not a baby blue, it's a light slate blue. And that'll show when I put it against my hand in a minute. But um, I wanted you to be able to see the way it hangs on this bust. So we have faceted teardrop shaped beads set in three hinging plates. So this is going to sit flat against your breastbone. The earrings also those teardrop shaped beads, the faceted teardrop shaped beads there. That gives you a little bit better idea of what that color actually is. I have two of these. This is the length. So just a little bit above the collar, a little bit below the collar, so about half and half. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit down at about mid chest. So this is a passing fancy. It is in blue. I have two of them. This is going to be our first piece, which is number 31. And I think I'm actually gonna have to take my sweater off. It was chilly in here a little bit and then I folded my clothes and I got hot. So now I think I'm warm enough to just take it off. You never know around here. It gets hot, then it gets cold, then it gets hot, then it gets cold. Despite the fact that we have a thermostat, I don't know. It's just the way it goes. All right, next up, I have these earrings. I have two pairs of these left. These are called Seashore Vibes. And you can see they're kind of a peachy, pinky coral. I was trying to untwist that one. I moved the wrong one. There we go. There's a half disc with that shell type finish on it in that peachy pink. And it's inside a forward facing silver hoop. This is the length and size. Yeah, I love these. These and I always get comments on them. Hi, Becky. These are seashore vibes in orange. I have two pairs of these left. And this is a peachy pink, like a coral, light coral color, number 32 for those. My numbers keep sliding down. Next up, we have, this is not a common combination for us, gold and blue. So we have chunky blue pearly beads. This is a gold chain, a little bit larger gauge you can see and then our blue pearly beads down at the bottom. We also have a chunky gold piece right in here. This is a little bit of a longer necklace. Our earrings are the chunky blue, and those are pearly as well. This is the length. So sitting down, it's just below mid abdomen. So mid abdomen is probably about here. So just that one pearly bead would hang below that. I still don't have it quite symmetrical, do I? There we go. <laughs> With the two inch extension, it's gonna hang down here closer to the belly button. So right about here. I have two of these as well. This is called Pardon My Fabulous in blue. And it is number 33. 
number 33. So what are you all doing tomorrow? Everybody hanging out at home? Almost everything's closed. It's like Christmas Day all over again. Everything's closed. Even the Amazon warehouses are closed. Can you believe that? Like Amazon never closes, but Amazon is closed tomorrow until 5 p.m. So there will be an evening shift, but there will be nothing during the day. So if you're looking for an Amazon package tomorrow, you're not going to get it until at least 5 p.m. I do hate it when they close everything down. You're watching the parade and football. Okay. That sounds like fun, Becky. This one is repeat after me. This is my basic gold necklace that I wear. I wear this with all the gold earrings that I have. This is three strands of textured, I guess you could call them hammered gold ovals. These are hung from a bar. Earrings are those same gold ovals. This is the length. So two above the collar, one below the collar. With the two inch extension, it is gonna go down to mid chest. So I have two more of these. This is called Repeat After Me. And it is in gold. It is number 34. And number 35, this one's kind of a medium length necklace. So I love this because it's got the purple and the blue in it. So we've got blue here, we've got purple here. This is a beachy necklace, it's called Caribbean Charisma. Caribbean, sorry. I did actually look up how to pronounce that and that is how the proper pronunciation is. They know you're a tourist if you say Caribbean. Isn't that interesting? I would have thought it was the other way. Caribbean Charisma. So this one has shell type pieces on it in this blue and then also in a silvery color. Some little wooden beads. We also have some purple, um, not really pearly beads, but like a polished stone right here. The earrings are the purple stone. This is the length. So you see why I say it's kind of a medium length? It's hanging just below the bust. So with the two inch extension, it's gonna hang right there solidly in the upper abdomen, but definitely not going to reach mid abdomen. So we have two of these left. This is Caribbean Charisma. And I have two of those. This one is number 35. All right, let's try a question. I'm going to make a, a short one because there's not that many people on tonight. And I don't want to, you know, we don't want to be here all night trying to guess. So let's see. Here we go. This goes with the beginning of our show. Three answers on this one. Let's go with number two. Name something a pregnant woman gets asked about a lot. Something that a pregnant woman gets asked about a lot. What do you think? Due date, number one. Everybody's going to ask, when are you due? Especially if you look like you're about ready to pop. Is it going to be a boy or girl? Yes, number two. That was it, Juanita. And your cravings. That was number three. So you got all three of them. Boy or girl, when are you due? And your cravings. How do you feel? Nobody ever asked me how I felt. They just want to know when the baby is going to be born. They don't care how you feel. 
I, the other thing I got asked about a lot was, do you have a name picked out? So they will ask about a name occasionally. All right, this next one I have two of, and I'm very partial to the shiny copper. So here we go. This is called Gives Me Butterflies in copper. So we have a copper butterfly on a shiny copper chain. This inside is actually clear. It's just against the black background. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. So we have a clear acrylic inside with some glitter, multicolored glitter in there, it's like an iridescent glitter. Almost like little the little shell pieces. This is what that looks like. Let me see if I can get it away from my hand. There we go. And then the tassel earrings. This is the length. So right there at and below the collar. You're off center a little bit, butterfly. Fly back to the center. With a two inch extension, it is gonna sit at about mid chest. So this one is Give Me Butterflies. And it is in the shiny copper. This one is number 36 and we have two of them. Number 37, Prairie Patchwork in orange, and I chose these because I love the embroidered earrings, whether they're the sunflowers or whether they're these cute little orange flowers on the brown leather background, because who sells embroidered earrings for $5 each? So these are in a silver hoop, I have the little orange flower with the yellow center. This is the length and size. So Prairie Patchwork in Orange. We have three more of these. This is number 37. Number 38. And I actually have this one because it's, there's a dress that it matches. This is kind of a like a dusky pink. This is called Secret Gardenista in pink. So oval and teardrop shaped pink beads. These are also on little sections that are hinged. We have a couple little rhinestones dotting the design there to give you a little bit of sparkle. The earrings, little teardrop shapes. And so this is the actual color of it. That gives you a better idea. This is the length. So sitting mostly above the collar without the extension. With the extension, it is gonna sit right about here, which is just above mid chest. So it's not quite gonna be a mid chest necklace. This is a shorter one, but still has a nice length. This is Secret Gardenista in pink. And we have two of these. This one is number 38. And because I love the layered look in necklaces, in the earrings, everything. And some of you don't always have a second hole, but you like the multiple hoop look. So we have these. These are hoop of the day in silver. I have just one of these left. So this is triple silver hoops on one post. This is the length and size, so a little bit shorter than my glitzy earrings. A little bit smaller. So these are hoop of the day in silver. We've got number 39. I know I have problems with my second hole. It um I have a second hole, but it likes to get irritated. Not infected, but just irritated. It tends to be more sensitive than my first hole. I don't know why. And so I need to leave earrings out of it a lot. So sometimes it just closes and then I have to pop it back open. It's not a lot of fun. This is a long necklace, Mandala Melody in brass. And I chose this because it goes with so many of our tan and brown things that we're wearing during this time of year. 
very pretty filigree in a flowery design. This is the antiqued brass, has the tassel earrings with it. But of course we have other brass earrings you could use to upgrade. This one hangs down just below mid-abdomen. Hi, Allison. Just below mid-abdomen, down toward the belly button with the two-inch extension. Definitely going to be in belly button territory. So right down here, we have two of these. This is Mandala Melody. And it is in brass. This one is number 40. As always, if you're watching the replay right now, you can claim just like you would on the show. And as long as we still have a piece left, it will go in your pouch. So as long as it's available. Usually I'll tell you if it's sold out. Let's see. How about this one? Three answers on this one. Let's do number three. Name something people enjoy doing under a tree. Something people enjoy doing under a tree. PG rated ladies. Little ears, you know. I don't have any little ears here today, but it could happen. And there could be in other rooms. Picnic, number one. Reading, number two. Resting, oh, that's really close. A nap, yep, sleeping. Allison, that's yours. Sleeping under the tree. At least assuming nobody's around and going to bother you. In a public park, that would be a little weird. But uh, usually we call those people homeless. Um, <laughs> so you may want to be a little judicious about where you choose to sleep under a tree. Oh, getting married. Getting married under a tree is nice. Well, we got all three answers. So there you go. All right, next in my favorite things, we have floral fashion show in pink. And this is a pale pink. Doo, doo, doo. There we go. That's straighter. Pale pink rhinestone along with white rhinestone. So these little flowers are a pale pink. The little leaves are white rhinestone and it's got little white rhinestones dotted in between as well. I love this one because it's such a lacy feminine type of piece. Love the V shape of it. The earrings are the pink teardrops to match those flowers. Maybe this will give you a better idea of color. I don't know, sometimes the black washes things out a little bit, but it's just very light. This is the length. So you're hanging just above the collar with the two inch extension. That point of the V is gonna be right here, which is gonna be just above mid chest. So again, a nice length for those like scoop and V-neck collars. I have three of these. This is floral fashion show. It's in pink. And it's number 41. Number 42 is another pink one. And I just have two of these left. This is my, my weakness, the butterflies. This is called Flutter Love in pink. So we have a little rhinestone in the center of that butterfly. The butterfly is two layers. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a two layer butterfly. The pink rhinestone in the center. And then our earrings are little silver one layer butterflies to match the necklace. This pink has just a little bit of iridescence to it. This one hangs just above the collar. So it's a nice smaller piece. With the two inch extension, it's gonna hang just above mid chest. So right in here. This one we have two of. This is Flutter Love. 
in pink. This one is number 42. Number 43. Two of these. Buttercup Bliss. Thank you, Becky, for sharing. Buttercup Bliss. So we have our antique silver flowers at the top of a forward-facing silver hoop. These are post earring. And our post is up here toward the top of the flower so that they'll hang down a little bit more. I've had lots of comments on these as well. This is the length and size. So we have Buttercup Bliss. There are two of these available. These are number 43. So how's the weather, everybody? I know this is tickly, sorry. It's the hand sanitizer, but I have to use it. How's the weather? It's chilly here today. No rain though. We don't, we don't, we're not scheduled to get rain until Thursday. So we're gonna have Thursday and then it's supposed to be Saturday and Sunday. They initially said maybe snow flurries with the with the rain, but now they're saying no. Just started snowing there, Allison. Oh, that's the best time. I love to see it when it first starts coming down and coating everything. And then it looks so pretty before everybody goes out and starts stomping around in it and driving around in it. Just that blanket of snow over everything makes it look clean and pretty. Snowed lightly today for you, Becky. You're in the 30s. We're 44. But it's clear, which means it's cold. So, you know, no cloud cover to kind of keep it insulated a little bit. 58, but it feels cool in the house. I can relate. Yeah, we've been in the 50s for the past few days, and now today... We're, we're down to 44 this evening. I think I got to 51 today. So very low 50s for us. Yeah, it's a little chilly everywhere. Not too much warm going around. All our California people aren't on to tell us what it's like out there. But all right, my very favorite earrings, and I'm wearing them tonight. These are the ones I wear most. These are glitzy by association in white. So they're white rhinestones on a silver background. We have the round and the rectangular rhinestones on these. Let me see if I can make them come in just a little bit better so you can see the shape of those stones. Love that they have the rhinestones on the inside curve as well because when you're looking at me, you see this front curve and then this inside of the back curve and that is exactly where they put the rhinestones on these so most bang for your buck right here on these earrings and that's why they're blockbusters you can see the length and size on me i have unlimited pairs of these because i have several in stock and then i can order as many as i need so glitzy by association these are actually in white number 44. i wear these with everything because they match almost everything. And if you have gold you need to wear them with, I have gold ones too. They made them in gold and white. So those were a nice addition. All right, the Upstater in black. This is black and white. This is my favorite black and white necklace. So I can wear this when I'm wearing black or I can wear it when I'm wearing white and add a little bit of class to the top of my outfit because we have the pearly beads, we have opaque black beads, and we have little polished silver beads in here. So nice combination of those beads. And I'll show you against my hand in just a second because I know you can't really see the black beads too well in there, but great for a black and white outfit. Earrings are the white pearly beads to match the necklace. So here's what it actually looks like. And then we'll put it on our mannequin. I have two of these left. This one hangs right at the collar with the two inch extension. It is gonna hang right here, which is just above mid chest. So not quite making it to mid chest. Oh, I'm sorry, Becky, it must just be the internet. This is the Upstater in black. Two of these left. This one is number 
45. I promise it's not really my voice. Number 45. So let's do one more question and then we'll do five more things and we'll be done. Let's see. Well, let's try this one. Three answers on this one. Three answers. And let's go with number three because this is not one that I would have guessed. But it's pretty popular. Name a type of cheese that Americans like the best. So getting a sandwich made at Subway or you're making one at home. What kind of cheese are you putting on it? What do we like the best? It's the most popular in this country. Cheddar. Cheddar's number one. Gouda. Not on the list, but awesome. Provolone. I love provolone, but it is also not on the list. Swiss was number three. You got it, Allison. And American was number two. Mozzarella is a good guess. Mozzarella is a good guess, but not usually on a sandwich. We use it on a lot of other things. Not usually on a sandwich. Cheddar Jack, that's my um, daughter loves Colby Jack, which Colby is similar in taste, I feel like, to cheddar. Um, I don't know if I could tell the two of them apart if you put them together, but um, yeah. And my daughter also eats Gouda, and that was a new thing for me because she has never branched out and eaten other things. She's now eating everything bagels. Um, that's a new thing for her. I don't know what's going on with her going through the change of life, I guess, because she, uh, well, she's been house sitting. She's been making herself breakfast sandwiches out of egg, um, turkey, gouda cheese, and the everything bagel. And she says it's really good. But those are not things she would have eaten before. So I don't know where this is coming from. I don't know where she had that, but um, it sounds amazing. I haven't had one yet. She hasn't been home to make me one. And I could make my own, but what is the fun in that? So I'll just wait on her. Your local cheese factory has cracked pepper smoked cheddar. Oh, that sounds good. I do like the smoked cheeses. Um, I tried some smoked cheddar when we had our last girls night and it was really good. I also got at one of the stores, um, was during a holiday time, a white cheddar with cranberries in it. That is really good. So white cheddar and cranberry, it's pretty awesome. Um, those are nice on the charcuterie boards, you know, where you're trying to have different cheeses. I like the provolone too, Becky. I am the only one in my house that eats provolone, which is good in one way because it means if I buy it, I'm going to be the only one that eats it. So I don't have to worry about sharing with anybody. But it also means that I don't buy it that often because nobody else is going to eat it. So six of one, half a dozen of the other. All right, this is our next piece. This is called The New Girl in Town. I knew it had to do with New Girl in Town. The New Girl in Town. This has pale green pearly beads. And you see that green just a little bit. This is a layered necklace. So we actually have two layers, but at the bottom of these two layers, they also have two layers of chain. So it kind of looks like four layers at the bottom. We've got these marquee shaped loops. I don't want to call them hoops because they're really not. And then we have the pale green pearly beads. Hi, Sylvia. How do you, how did you smoke cheese? In, do you have a smoker? The earrings are the pale green pearly beads on a fish hook back. This is the length. So right below mid abdomen, mid abdomen is about here. So about half an inch below mid abdomen. And then another one down around belly button level. With the two inch extension, you're gonna get closer to this dropped waist. Did you use anything special to smoke them with, Sylvia? Other than the smoker? I mean, did you use like wood chips or? All right, this is the new girl in town with the pale green pearly beads. I have four of these. This one is number 46. And I have four of them because pale green's hard to find. No, 
number 47. 47 is pretty new to us. This one is a short length necklace. This is called Gleaming Harmony. I had to turn it so I could see in the dark. Gleaming Harmony in gold and the white rhinestone. So we have oversized links and then these oversized links have white rhinestone accents on them. Really, really pretty. Cherry and applewood, yum. And then our earrings are the white rhinestones. The little hoops I show next will go with these really nicely. So this one's sitting more of a choker length. It's up here right around. You have to tell me how you do that, Sylvia. Send me a message and tell me how you do that because I'd love to learn. Right here around the collarbones with the two inch extension, it is gonna sit right up here in the upper chest area. So it's a short length necklace, which is good for most collars. We have three of these. This is Gleaming Harmony. It wants to turn in the tag. <laughs> and it is number 47. 47. 48, as I mentioned, will go with that. These are little gold hoops, small gold hoops. Two rows of rhinestones. These are my favorite kind of casual earrings. They're not too big, but they still have a little glitz. Just a little bit. I wear them with a lot of my casual stuff. This is the length and size. So you can see they're quite a bit smaller than the glitzy hoops. They're called Small Town Twinkle. And I have four pairs of these. They are number 48. Almost done, ladies. Almost done. Number 49. This is also a little longer necklace. This is called Finding My Forever in pink. So this is a pink rhinestone heart surrounded by little white rhinestones. Then we have the tassel down below. So if you like hearts, this is a good one. Our earrings are the white rhinestones. That one's trying to get away. This is the length. So hanging just below the bust with that heart. And then our tassel goes down just past mid, mid abdomen. With the two inch extension, it's all gonna come down about here, which is gonna bring your heart down to about here. So still be upper abdomen, and then the tassel will go into the lower abdomen. I do have two of these. Finding My Forever in pink. This one is number 49. And number 50. Let's see. What am I going to show last? I've got three choices left up here. Let's do this one. This one is Flawlessly Famous. This is in that beautiful fuchsia color. You can see it has just a tiny tint of blue in there. So a little bit of a UV. Show all three. I guess I could show all three. All right, Flawlessly Famous. So this is that beautiful fuchsia hot pink with the blue. These are emerald cut rhinestones, clusters of white rhinestones in between. All three, Becky, everybody's voting for all three. The earrings are the little clusters of white rhinestones. This is the length. So let's see. Just a little bit above the collar, mostly below the collar with that rhinestone. With the two inch extension, it is gonna sit down about here, which is gonna be just barely above mid chest. So just barely, it's the hair. This one is flawlessly famous. It is in pink, I have two of them. I also have this in a ruby red, so if you prefer red, I do have that. 
still has the white clusters in between, just these big rhinestones are red. So number 50 for that one. And since you all asked so nicely, I will just show the other two as well. We'll just get them all. All right, two of these. This is a social soiree. I still have a thing about symmetry, don't I? Social soiree. This is in gold and brown. Hi, Marlo. We're doing our last two, and then you can go back and watch the replay. Social soiree. This is kind of a medium length necklace. We have our beautiful filigree discs in gold, and then we have a light brown, a white, and a darker brown or medium brown, chunky pearly bead. It's a really pretty combination of the browns and the gold. I have two of these and the earrings are that light colored brown, the chunky bead. This is the length. So just below the bust, this is where I prefer my necklaces if they're gonna be long necklaces because it's not long enough to get caught in anything. Let me move it back a little bit so you can see it better, Becky, because it keeps getting behind the words. So with the two inch extension, it is gonna hang down about here. So still in the upper abdomen, really, really in the upper abdomen. I have two of these. This is social soiree. And it is going to be number 51. Let's see, let's find a place to hang that. I ran out of spots. And last but not least, this is my favorite blockbuster. And it's the one that I thought I was gonna hate. So if you've been on here for a while, you've heard it before. Sylvia and Becky, you both want that 51. All right, I have just enough for both of you. It's a really nice addition to your wardrobes. We're all about trying to make the old clothes look new again, right? So a little bit of jewelry can help. So this is one I thought I was gonna hate because I thought it was too big. And I thought it was just ugly. And then I put it on. And believe me, this looks different when you put it on you. And if you don't believe me, look back at some of my pictures. I have it on in some of my pictures in social media and it looks totally different. But this is a combination of brass, copper and silver. Little bit of a Southwestern style, but not too Southwestern-y because I'm not a Southwestern type girl. The earrings are the little copper pieces with the scroll work, just like in the necklace. So you don't need to upgrade. Let's put it on our model here. Although I'm certain she doesn't wear it as well as I do. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is the length. So it comes to just above the bust with the two inch extension. It's actually gonna sit right here in the middle of the bust. This one is called Untamed. So again, because it's a blockbuster, I can get as many as I want. This is what those pieces look like. Really stunning necklace. So this one is going to be number 52 and it will finish up the show of my favorite things. So I'm sure we'll have another one again. And I didn't have a lot of blue, did you notice? Did not have a ton of blue. It happens. I do wear other colors besides blue. I just like blue the best. So let's see, I did not do invoices over the weekend and it's because most of us didn't have a lot. So I will go ahead and do invoices tomorrow since it is, hey, Faye, number 52 for you, you got it. 52 for you. Um, I will go ahead and do them tomorrow. Since it's a holiday, we'll go ahead and get them sent out. Clear the board. It's because I bought all the blue. <laughs> That's right, Becky, there's no blue left. I bought all the blue, I kept it. Uh, <laughs> so look in your invoice, uh, it, your email boxes, inboxes is what I meant to say, inboxes <laughs> uh, tomorrow for your invoice and I'll get those out. Um, clear the board for everybody, except if you have only one piece 
And uh, if you only have one piece, I'll hold it for next week. So not sick anymore. We can get everything done, get everything cleared out, and I'll be back on Friday. Now, next Sunday, I will not be here. I have a previous engagement on Sunday evening. Unfortunately, it is also around 7 o'clock. So, oh, your earrings should be there anytime, Juanita. Um, I'm assuming they got slowed down because of the holidays. I'll check the tracking on those for you um, when we get done here, and I can let you know what their projected delivery date is. I'm assuming probably Tuesday because they're not delivering anything tomorrow. They should have already been there, but you know, post office is slow this time of year. All right. So you all have fun. We'll see you Friday night. Um, sorry, we won't see you next Sunday. As I mentioned, we have a previous engagement, so we'll make it up to you. We'll combine it with the next week. All right. You all have a great week. Enjoy your day off tomorrow if you get one, and we'll see you on Friday when our new stuff comes in. Bye-bye.